As a teen girl growing up in America, there's so much pressure to assimilate and to be within that narrow frame of beauty that is so prevalent in all fashion magazines. I had no idea that I could be a fashion designer, that I could be gay. This was before Project Runway, this was before Will and Grace. If I'm gonna be working in this industry, I want to be a voice of change. I love what I do and I love treating the body through an architectural lens. That's really inspiring to me. I studied architecture. The architecture taught me the whole process of design, from material research to iterations. Maybe not coming from fashion has helped me have a different voice in the fashion industry. But I don't think I ever knew the rules. I didn't know I was breaking them. Our process here at Chromat is thinking about the body as a building site and looking to the body for ideas about different joint structures and create interventions or add enhancements. When we're thinking about clothing, we are interested in exploring how clothing can make you feel stronger and more powerful, but also through fashion technology integrations, how can we create clothing that acts as a tool so we can empower the body as machine. The adrenaline dress was inspired by biomimicry. So in nature, when animals are in fight or flight mode and they bulk up and create this more empowering version of themselves, we wanted to recreate that in a fashion context. The full dress was 3D printed. They feel good, they feel like flexible. And it has embeddable sensors and it notices you're feeling adrenaline. It triggers the dress to expand, to create this imposing figure. And that's actually what I'm recreating for the wedding dress that I'll be wearing in a few weeks. The runway shows for Chromat should reflect the world that we live in. We have a lot of different types of women and people all along the gender spectrum who walk in our shows and I think it sends a really powerful message. That inclusivity and that empowerment is so important to who we are and why we do what we do. I mean, I don't really think about my LGB identity when I'm at work. It's just part of who I am as a person. But maybe it's also part of my belief system in a sense that I believe that everyone should have equal rights and everyone should have equal representation. Everyone's beauty should be celebrated.